Yo, people, it's T-Fit here with Fitbilly TV. Listen. Look, shout out to this light. This motherfucking light's a god. This, we're going to get another one done, too. But let me be clear. These fucking lights are $800. Just, just for those that want to know. Extra $100 if you want to speed up the shipping. Did an episode of Fitbilly TV with Chris Moore. He's breaking down a bulldog. Over the next 15 days, I'll be shooting a lot of stuff with I Bulldogs and Bulky Built. Stay tuned. Hopefully, you learn something. This is the whole purpose of this channel and the effort I'm gonna put into putting out education and information that can help us all be better dog handlers, owners, supporters of our dogs, learners of our dogs, etc. I don't know what you need, but I know what I needed when I started and a lot of it did not exist. So again, Fit Bully TV is about helping everyday dog owners, definitely breeders and others be more supportive of the things that they're doing by having the information and access to the information to better the community, your house, whatever else you got going on. So, tune in. Every week we'll be dropping an episode. If there's anything you want to see or want to know more about or like, hey, well, what about this? We'll do an episode on that too, but it's going to be like a vlog type TV show. Shout out to Chris and Gina for allowing me to come over to their home, put some content together, assist them in whatever way, and better, you know, learn myself. I'm learning a lot from both of them. They're highly educated, extremely informed, and they're worth a call, a visit, and shit, an investment. Invest if you like bulldogs, <laughs> buy a bulldog. That being said, T-Fit Football TV signing off. Enjoy. Yo, I'm here with <laughs> Chris, my guy, man. Hey, what happened to the other guy? You ever get one in there? Bigger one? Yeah, here, yeah. Here. I moving? swap them up so they don't get too comfortable. Because then they get possessive over the killer. Uh, and that's a whole nother issue? Yeah. But not an issue for you, for the dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll fence fight. So if I just keep them rotated, I don't have that problem. Not from what I've learned in life. I see. I see, I see. Let's pull it. Let's pull Is there somewhere you like put a dog on that and break yeah. it down? Yeah. yeah. So Chris gonna break down a, a, a bulldog for us. Look, I'm not a, 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 I don't know nothing about bulldogs. He gonna teach you something today. I don't know whose keys these are, so. Oh, they're hers. I put them right here. Any dog? Yeah, anyone that you like. That, that'll highlight like, yo, start with a puppy. Start with a puppy, make your life easy. Uh, so don't be afraid to do like the zoom thing here. Zoom in, zoom out if it needs a wider frame. Um, the thing that you can switch is this. Take this up if you need to, or take this down if it's like too light, because we're going to get into some dark areas, so that needs to go up to get lighter or darker. If you want to make sure you see the colors. Oh, shit! <laughs> This is a bulldog from a current litter you got, right? Yeah. Think about keeping her. So for me, immediately, um, I want people to, un when they see my dogs, I want them to see bulldog. Yeah. So the first thing I'll ask you right now, without even you knowing anything about dogs, what is this? That's a bulldog. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but for me as a breeder, this is a little too heavy on the English side. So it's too smashed. The ears are too, you know, they're too pricked. Yeah. So for me, this is a little too far in the English department. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> you good? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, look, man. This is, this is what I'm talking about, though. These are the Hold on. That... Let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure this shit looks good. It's so, okay. So for me, you know, this is... She's a heavier English bulldog looking style dog. Uh, so with that being said, you have some natural things that you're gonna have to be on the lookout for. When you go a heavier English bulldog, your shoulders sometimes go a little bit too far underneath. You have that, uh, you know that English bulldog, when you look at it, that little rise of loin, mm -hmm. kind of like roachy looking. Yeah. Uh, that comes from the English bulldog. But you get good things from an English bulldog. You get good bone, you get good, you know, head type. Uh, you get good with the hips. But you got to take the good with the bad, and you got to balance it out for me. So for me, it's about, you know, is she straight in the front? Does she have a good drop of chest? Does she have a good, they call it four chest? Does it poke out some, or is it hollow and, you know, shoulders super forward? Yeah. Uh, she she going to be scared because this is the first time. She's ever been showcased. Huh? You know, anytime you lift the dog up off the concrete or the floor, it, it, they get a little, 
itchy. Well, so let me ask you this. I know in the Frenchies, they tell you as soon as you get your Frenchies yeah, to stay and start putting them on the table because yeah. that's where they'll be judged. Yeah, that's exactly where they are going to be judged. So you have to get them accustomed to it or comfortable with it. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and, and a lot of times you just hold them and pet them. If they have a tail, now, you can raise up on the tail. So slightly talk to them about this too because one of the things that we were discussing the other night, me and Ruben, was um, the importance of communication with your dog and people. Touch is a form of communication, right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. So. So what I'm doing is head up, yeah. keeping her head up, trying to build her confidence. And like, if that has a tail, you can keep, you can pull the tail up, and it gives them confidence. Like it builds confidence. You'll notice that a dog that has a tail, you put the tail up, they'll poke their chest out a little bit. Keep it on him. So a lot of times, if they have a tail, you just pull the tail up, pet them, pull it up, pet them, and they'll start pull, slowly leaning into their chest. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is, you know, a lot of people they evaluate this puppy. She's scared. So looking at this dog now versus in her natural walking around is a little different. Yeah. So, so the, that's the other thing you have to look at. But this will tell you certain things, you know, like is she too tight in the shoulders? Is she too loose in the shoulders? You know, looking from the sides, like, okay, I can see some angulation. I can see lack of angulation. I can see shoulder set still. Uh, I look from the front to see if it's straight back or does it narrow like a, like a triangle. These are just certain things that I look for. Uh, I come to the front, I see how good or bad her nares are. Come over here, make sure that you see this. Uh, you know, her nares are a little pinched. Yeah. So, you know, this isn't ideal for... So does this get worse as they get older? Yes, it can get worse. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean she's going to have bad breathing. So breathing is based on nose, throat. A lot of people think uh, just because they have pinched nares, they can't breathe. That's yeah. not true. Uh, the throat is like a straw. If you bend it, you don't get as much soda. <laughs> but if you put it straight down, you can get a lot of soda. So the more open that, that trach is, the more air she can get. Regardless of the tightness of the nares. Yeah, I mean, just think about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can keep my teeth together and still get all the soda I want. Mm -hmm. So she'll just open her mouth to breathe. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, that's why you got two passageways per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she can breathe through her mouth and her nose. And, but the throat, no matter if it's, if it's like this, or if it's like this is the big difference. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how much air can come through the lungs, from the lungs to the, to the brain, I guess you could say, or to the nose or the mouth. So that's the most important part. A lot of people look at this, this is an aesthetic thing that we can trim back. I know that sounds wrong and maybe I shouldn't be saying that, but it's the truth hey, though. Bro, no, people, you know, people, you know, get, people get fucking... Uh, Nose jobs. Yeah. I know. And so look, they just go in and they just and basically. A lot of y'all women are getting fucking. I know a chick got three nose jobs. Uh, probably still ugly. Bless her heart. <laughs> bless her heart. We ain't going to expose. I'm not going to expose her, but she didn't got a few surgeries. I know one of the homies said, I seen her, Trev. She don't even look like herself no more. I said, well, she always wanted to be somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not the worst thing to better your dog's quality of life at the end of the yes. day. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it comes down for, to. For, the, for me, I think it has a lot to do with where you live at, too. You know, because uh, we talked about being in Texas yeah. and how hard it is for a breed like this in itself. In yeah, a hot, humid yeah, if you environment. hold her, I go get another puppy hey, with has a really you. wide open neck. What's up, mama? He said you scared. I understand. Not really, but is it? Let me see. Thanks for the roll. Oh yeah, we good. Let him pause it real quick.